Welcome back to Footballology. So something I want to talk to you guys about today was something that I heard in the game, uh, the Dolphins versus the Jaguars. And in that game, they were talking about how the Jaguars are really buying into these late round guys or undrafted guys. We see Manchu being a sixth round pick and James Robinson even being undrafted right now, making an impact on the Jacksonville Jaguars roster. And so when they were talking about it, they said that the late round guys, you really get one or two shots at it before they just write you off. You know, you know, all the scouts and all the GMs and everyone, the coaches even, are all saying, okay, this guy clearly went late for a reason. He went in the later rounds because he didn't have an opportunity. And so something that I like to do on this channel and something you guys know this by now is that I always like to talk about the fourth round and later guys, even undrafted guys, guys that I feel like actually have an impact or that have a bigger impact on the roster than first, second, and third rounders. Even though there's more of the late round guys than there is early round guys. But I just feel like that as far as like impact play and how they kind of blow up and do things, I think sometimes we kind of get lost in like the first round, second round guys and not really paying attention to some of the fourth, fifth, and sixth round guys. But anyways, uh, the one thing that, that that one that was brought to my attention, sorry, one that was brought to my attention was that like he's, he made a good point is that as a first rounder, you get multiple opportunities at the Apple. We've seen Blake Bortles get numerous opportunities with the Jaguars using the same team, numerous opportunities to say, OK, Blake, you can be our guy. OK, Blake, you can be our guy. OK, Blake, you can carry us. And he failed every single time he had this opportunity. We could see the same thing for Mark Sanchez when he came out how he struggled mightily, but yet still got multiple opportunities at the Apple. Same thing for Blaine Gabbert when he got multiple multiple opportunities as well. So we see a lot of guys that were taken in the first round, they get multiple opportunities at it because the NFL or the scouting department or the GMs or whoever feel like that this guy was good at something, so he's gonna get multiple opportunities to prove himself that he was deserving of a first round pick. Same thing you could say like, right now Mitch Trubisky is getting definitely opportunities at the, you know, they keep trying to start year after year after year and it's like he might not have the juice that's just what it comes down to and so it kind of frustrates me when we start to pay attention to this and it's just i feel like there should be some kind of balance rule in place or something i guess you could say that give the late round guys a true chance at it you know maybe the first time around wasn't their their best swing you know give them three or four or five chances like you give the first round pick guys because there's so many first round pick guys that shouldn't be even in the league right now they were rostered on somebody's 53 man roster not practice spot but actual 53 man roster and they shouldn't be and there's guys that are probably on people's practice squad or undrafted or on someone's practice squad right now that went undrafted they are probably better than some of the people that are rostered on the 53 man roster and i just think it's comical because we don't ever truly get to see these guys blow up like they're supposed to and get a true apple, uh, a bite at the apple, if you will. And I think that's where like the league, like the XFL comes into play or the Alliance Football League came into play because these leagues are gonna give these guys those opportunities to not only prove to them, prove to everyone else, but prove to them, I guess they know for themselves, but to prove to everyone else that they have an opportunity to really blow up and show that I, I can play this game. Not only can I play this game, but I can play it at a high level and at a competitive level. Uh, but I guess my overall question, I said all that to say this, is when is the right time to let go of a first round pick? When is the right time to say, okay, I messed up? And I think that's what it really comes down to. Uh, a lot of GMs and scouts and you know everyone in the front office, even coaching staff, don't want to admit that they were wrong. I mean, when you give up on the first round pick right away, you're basically con you know conceding to defeat and saying, yeah, this guy just wasn't as good as we thought he was. And you don't want to admit that. And so when you get a new regime, it's easier to do it when there's a new regime in house because the new regime can say, well, he's not my guy, bye. And they don't have to take the blame for that. They can just blame the old regime. But when is the right time if you're the GM or the coach or whatever the case may be, when is the right time to let go of the first round draft pick? When is the right time to say, okay, guy, you just don't got the juice. You can go ahead and walk and go about your day. I think personally, give me three years, and especially at the quarterback position, because quarterbacks definitely get multiple opportunities to prove that they're good. Give me three years to say, yes, I can and no, I can't. Um, I think defenders have a steeper learning curve depending on your scheme and things like that. But, you know, same situation. I think two to three years. I mean, I think that should be for every player, not just first round picks. But I feel like first round picks not only get two to three years, they get another, you know, three to four or five years after that. And, you know, dude's like year eight, year nine, still playing, damn near starting most of the time because he was a first round draft pick when he came out. 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. When is the right time to let go of your first round draft pick? When's the right, how many opportunities do you give any player at all before you say, okay, you just don't got it. But like, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I definitely wanna hear from you guys. And if you're not a footballologist yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you become a footballologist and stay safe, football fans.